It says we're live, Jeff. You are live, exclamation point. Uh, boys and girls, welcome. Live. Yeah, live. Monday morning, <laughs> March 4. I feel alive. I feel alive. Yeah. For, I've been awake for a little bit today. As you know, I yep. like to kind of see what's going on early in the morning. Um, guys, hope you're having a spectacular start to your day, to your week. And I got something a little different for you today um, that I hopefully, uh, hopefully will be very helpful to you. I just... Before we get into it, I was just mentioning to Jeff, um, Lefty, Rich, good morning. Um, morning, Rich. That, uh, I was on the court yesterday with this Adidas. They come out here the first weekend, actually, yeah, the first week of the BNP, and that's uh, when they do their fall clothing line video and print ad shoot. And it's an unbelievable production. I mean, it's like... Do you need all, you need, what do you need, 17 different volleys? No, you need 17 different semi-trailers, I guess. <laughs> right. But, and, of course, the the food spread with the catering thing is like, I haven't eaten that well in a long time. <laughs> uh, right. And it's just, it's a great crew. I mean, there's there's a lot of people out there, and everyone's young, and most of them are European, so... They're just, they're just super great. It's fun. Right. And so, um, you know, my, my function was to feed balls to the players yesterday to make them look good. And as you know, um, I remember when I was at the Cal club hiring assistant pros that um, you get the young bucks in there and all they know how to do is to top the forehand to the feed as the feed to, you know, the 46 year old mom who's out there once a week maybe and she's on the court for less and all of a sudden the feed is just just jump snapping up out of the strike zone I'm gone. <laughs> okay the first thing we got to do here is teach you how to feed how so to feed. anyway Fringe. yeah yeah, yeah. Fringe oh. moment yeah all right so uh that was the deal and you know it's really interesting to be in the court with these guys i mentioned before this uh alejandro davidich fokina Sure, I've got da Davidino or Davidino. Davidino. Fokina, Fokina, it's a hyphenated yeah, thing. Yeah. Anyway, Spanish yeah. guy, young guy. He's, you know, he's all, he's yeah. one of the shorter guys in the tour. I'm sure it's 6162. Um, very nice guy. And you watch this guy play. I mean, you talk about intensity yeah. when you watch him on TV. It's he's the hungry. same deal when you're feeding him a lollipop and he's just going after it. And it's like, okay, all right. All right. There's no. <laughs> there's there's no hit and giggle forehand here okay excuse me can i get a helmet and a cup please before i feed the next ball <laughs> right so and he did apologize a couple times there's a couple of them just a hair you know whatever time he was off yeah. here it comes brenny so uh, <laughs> it's like anyway so i had him for a while we you know we we do the grass courts and we do the hard courts the grasses because they have a a wimbledon all white thing. And then, um, and then they do some colored stuff in the hard court, but uh, a lot of fun, just a lot of fun. And then I had a, a Chinese gal. Um, she was here last year again, and she's all a six, one, if not six, two drop dead, gorgeous strokes. I mean, like God. And I was mentioning to you before, <laughs> Jeff, the heavy power, there's yeah. a difference between kind of muscly work, snappy, um oh yeah, yeah yeah wiper type of forehand power that's not necessarily a heavy ball it could be hit hard but i i always make there is a distinction between a hard hit ball and a heavy ball i i think there is yeah you know yeah um a uh, heavy good. ball you you feel it when you're hitting the ball back you you like you, it, yeah, no. It feels it feels different on the strings when the guy totally a heavy, it's just, heavy ball. It's a, it's a different embed factor on your um, yeah. compression on your string bed. Without hola, the explorer. Um, Buenos dias, senor. Uh, glad you got the slice course. Good, good. Uh, I want some feedback on it when you're done. And then the other person I had, she came out later. Um, this girl, not really kind of cut out of that six one six two mold. She's five seven. This Camelia. Um, or or Sorio from uh, Colombia, mm. huh. and just you know, again, the heavy. Everything's heavy. Right. I mean, and it's just so relaxed, and just the timing's perfect, and and the technique doesn't look artificial, mm -hmm. and 
it's a big ball and the four and the backhand's big and the volleys are perfect. I mean, and you and you know, and the photographer's saying, All right, Brent, Brent, can can you take her way out wide to the forehand volley? I'm going, okay, man. And you take her way out wide, and she's over there just ho-humming, like, oh, you know, getting around the outside of the ball and just carving <laughs> this thing, just boom. <laughs> so anyway, uh today we've got um we got Steph, we have Cici Pass. It's a rather large tennis ball. Um yeah. Who else have we got? Um I know that uh, Sakari is showing up later this afternoon. Wozniacki ah, as well. Cool. And then tomorrow, um, tomorrow we've got, oh, Pagula's back. And then this other girl who switched over from Nike over to Adidas. Um, oh, I'll think of it. I'll think of it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Svitolina. Svitolina. Oh, Svitolina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So <laughs> nice. Anyway. So, guys, um, let's get rolling. Here's what I want to talk about today is the I want to bridge that gap between. And the, and the between part is where is where <coughs> is where you're coughing at. <coughs> Hair, hairball. Uh, too much of my uh, too much of my vegan protein, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I know I should be going to the. Uh, the yeah. Room. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, bridging that gap between your to where your skill level is right now, and to where you want to take it. And I know that mm-hmm. I know that one of the I think the big mistake Jeff I used to make was, okay, I've got a good idea where my game is at, and I'm looking on the court next to me at that guy over there, and that's where I want to take my game. I want to I want to be like that guy. Well, the problem is I started comparing myself literally to that guy. And thinking, yeah. okay, well, as opposed to, wait a minute, I want to compare myself to that skill level in general and then start to feel, okay, well, what do I need to do mm-hmm. to be able to bridge the gap between those two those two places? And so before we get into it, I'm going to kind of run, I'm going to run us through the, uh, my quick version of um, the one thing exercise. Um, and look, guys, today, tonight at 11 p.m. Pacific time zone, today's Monday, the 4th of March, um, the special, intro, not introductory, it's an updated uh, course on the Underspin backhand. Only good, not for the public, only good for the web tennis uh, email subscribers. Um, I got a great price on it uh, until tonight. And again, at 11 p.m. Pacific, if you're on my email list and you're probably getting a few too many emails from me saying uh, this is it. But anyway, just a just a quick reminder. Um, So, Jeff, look, here's here's the here's the quick version of the one thing exercise that I think everyone needs to go through from time to time. And that is these are sort of the five pillars, the tactical focus, the mindset skills, the tennis specific fitness experiences and then pairing away the unneeded swing tech. And I'll tell you why I do the, the, the unneeded swing tech is the last one. And I, and I, I know that they'll agree with me on this, but I think if you've decided that, okay, you know where your current skill level is right now, and you know where you want it to be, you've got a really clear vision right. of what those guys play like. Not their personalities, not who they are, not comparing right. yourself to them, but that <clears throat> skill level. And once you do that, then I think you have to do a reality check in terms of um, what's going to what's what's going to bridge that gap. What's going to take you there? Number one, tactical focus. Are you actually thinking less about well, I got to bring out my plan A. How do I do that? Which is mostly based on swing tech and and maybe mm-hmm. some patterns that work well for you as opposed to are you really probing over there to see what this guy's number one really good at okay well let's right. stay away from that but number two maybe we can find a weakness and maybe the weakness is not so much a stroke it might be a movement pattern it right. might be that guy over there move side to side great and you're just not consistent enough with power to really hurt them, right? We got to throw in a drop shot here and there, now and then, 
Maybe we got to throw in a, 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 just like you and I were talking, huh, in a doubles return to serve, a drop shot return to serve? Oh. Whoa. Huh? Infidel in the temple. <laughs> um, so, so find out what that opponent doesn't like. And then, then you've got your tactical focus. And it just might be that what you discover about that opponent is, oh, this works into my really good stuff. Here we go. This is going to be fun. Right. Or maybe not. Maybe you have to adjust. <laughs> the second th- set is mindset skills. And, and basically it's, it's, you know, how do you control your emotions, especially after chunking right. the easiest, fattest sitter at five all in the third set breaker. Mm. 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 The gnashing and the grinding of the yeah, wailing of the and gnashing of teeth. Yes. A little smoke coming out of the ears. <clears throat> um, mindset skills for me changed my game starting 18 months ago, C- completely changed it. I and mean, I'm just, I just, I just know I'm a different player. And um, so make sure that you not only are, are, are really clear on what you should be doing between points, the 80% of the match, uh, but make sure that you're clear on how you're going to build confidence without having to wait around to win a big match so that you eventually get confident. Mm-hmm. That's just kind of icing on the cake. Confidence for me started, Jeff, uh, it started way before getting on the court. It's just all about self-talk. And, and, yeah. if, you, and if you do that, you that's where you start building confidence. Mm-hmm. And, and the mm-hmm. wins come, and then the wins just really, right. really underscore. Um, the next one is ten, tennis specific fitness. We've talked about that recently. Um, if you're carrying around extra baggage, yeah. I don't know how you're going to bridge the gap. Yeah, I don't see it happening. <clears throat> um, you can have the greatest tactical focus, mindset skills. You can play a ton. You can be super efficient with swing tech. But if there's extra extra sandbags being carried around yeah yeah let's uh let's just eliminate that i mean that that should be the first thing um and then experiences are experiences are are you actually putting yourself out there in a practice situation number one to where you're not just always playing with the same guys on court three your comfy confines of your tennis facility yeah. Um, it just just because you want to feel good. No, go on down, find a guy who's over there at San Pablo Park down there in West Berkeley. And the courts haven't been resurfaced for, you know, Berkeley, I'm sure doesn't have any funds for that. Mm-hmm. So they haven't, re- you know, the nets might be that at some point they put up, well, screw it. We're not doing the, you know, yeah. the cord nets anymore. We got, we got yeah. the chain link chain, fence. Chain link. Yeah. yeah. And so those things will never wear out. That's that's cool. You got to go down there. You got to put yourself in that in that situation, often enough to where you get a little uncomfortable and you learn how to compete yeah. in that kind of a situation. Because believe me, if you want to bridge the gap, part of the experiences are going to be: can you shove a bunch of events where the results made public into your calendar? Tournaments, yeah. a lot of leagues, just not once in a while. So. Uh, experiences are huge. And then the last one is pair away the unneeded swing tag. So, you know, Jeff and I both, someone new comes to us and say, Hey, you know, I want to work on my forehand top spin this, you know, I go, okay, that's fine. Here's what we're to do first. The first lesson is I'm going to recruit someone who's right at your skill level and we're going to come out and I'm not going to say a word for probably the first half hour. (laughs) And I'm going to see what your instincts are with that, with that forehand. What do you, what do you do? What do you do? And it could be that, whoa, um, you have a little, you know, extra Brenable flair at the top of the, at the swing, you know, the yeah. racket prep. Let's get rid of that because that's kind of screwing up your timing. Um, and let's just go minimalist swing tech as much as we possibly can. You really need to train die for that. So yeah, if the first four things, you got the first four things nailed, then you're in a great position to have someone like me, like Jeff, whether it's on the court, whether it's through video, to really look at swing tech. Yeah. And let's just 
let's just pare away what you really don't need so we can make you so unbelievably consistent as a, as a shot maker. Now you have an opportunity to bridge that gap. And I just think if you don't nail these five things, yeah, I don't know how you're going to go from where you are to where you want to go. I, I agree. You know, if, if the, if the swing tech, if you find somebody and, and the first thing they want to do is change your grip and blah, blah, blah. And, and like really kind of completely dismantle and, and give you this new idea, this new thing, maybe you need to look at somebody else be, because there's the, most of the time, most of the time, you know, almost all the time. How about that <laughs> way to say it, right? It, a, a new forehand is not the answer. Um, a new, you know, changing your grip and blah, blah, blah is also most of the time, 99% of the time, not the answer. There, there's a way to tweak and to get in there and, and make adjustments on these things that, to, that, that just don't require a complete rebuild of what you're doing because that again we're talking about senior tennis do you have the time the the wherewithal the mental capacity the money um to hit enough reps with a with a complete rebuild new grip blah 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 that you would actually use it in a match in, in a match that's that counts and i can tell you most of the time no because I've watched it happen over and over and over again. Um, that when, it, when the rubber meets the road, you will fall back into your warm, fuzzy way that you like to do it. Um, and well, so, look, how, so, many times, how many times, Jeff, have you, and I get a lot of emails from guys who say, hey, look, I'm just getting back into the game. I played a little bit in high school. Um, been working like a dog. I'm now... 60 years old, working like on my career, getting semi-retired, kids are now out of the house. I'm ready to get back into it. And I hear, I hear that I, that, that my forehand, I need to have a, a, a modern heavy topper forehand. I never hear, um, Hey, you know what? <laughs> Love what you're doing with this stuff. Let's, let's get a couple of guys out here, run at your skill level and let's have you play a little bit and let's see where you're at. And see what well, Maybe right. it's nothing more than, hey, when you when you take your forehand there, when you're on that part of the court and your opponent's on that part of the court, let's just change the direction. That's all. Yeah. That's all. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I think you know the whole list there is is again those each 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 item on your list there has a foundational truth, right? Tactical. There's a foundational truth there. Do you know how to construct a point? You have patterns that you work with. If not, guess what? Just guess what we need to teach you. We need to teach you some foundational patterns. Um, that's also how you build confidence. Even if you were to lose a match, a, a practice set, but the whole practice set, you, you manage to hit your patterns, to do your patterns anyway. That's a confidence builder. Um, because yeah. now, you, now you have that you learn that you can actually stick with a plan. <laughs> <laughs> and not deviate and it doesn't again it doesn't matter winning winning is not the barometer or losing is not the barometer by which you make a judgment call on that the mindset skills you know again you know 90 minute match 70 minutes is not playing tennis okay you better figure that out then we got we got to do some work there right um tennis specific fitness of course right experiences if if you finish a match and your first comments out of your out of your noggin is God, it was, it was so loud. There, there was that party that was going on over there. And then did you hear that car alarm that went off? And blah, 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 blah. Guess what? You, you need to play in that arena more. Yeah. And, and more distraction and more noises and more everything. Because if you can't shut that out, your, your brain is just looking for something to refocus on. So you have a story to tell at the end of your match that you just lost. Yeah, no question. No, I mean, a lot of... Know. A lot of that stuff is just story building. You feel like you're, you feel yeah. like it's slipping away, and you can't figure out what to do. And then you start with the story building in terms of, well, if if I do lose this thing, what am I going to say to the fellas? Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's a recipe for for yeah, not 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 great. So, look, guys, um, if, if this is where you're at, if this is really what you want to do, if you're really serious about becoming a better player and seeing how good you can become. 
the message today is don't compare yourself to someone else. Compare yourself to that skill level that they're at. And then just go through this exercise and figure out, are you nailing each one of those? And if you come up with one that you're not nailing, start there first. Just start mm -hmm. there first and get that thing. Because if you're, if, 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 if something's being, being in denial, uh, it's going to be really tough to get to that next spot yeah. that you want to go. So, yeah. um, and, and, you know, again, in that, in that finding that, that person that can help you along that path, you have to, you got to humble up and kind of go, you know, um, I know it's not going to be fun and, or, you know, uh, comfortable to hear, but shoot me straight. Tell, tell me what is, you know, um, what's actually going on here? What am I doing? What, what, what do you see? And then you go, okay, well, let's, let's get real here. Okay. 25 pounds. Okay. That's reality check. Right. Um, uh, guess what? You're, you're very slow in your ready position and prep after you hit a ball. Right. Okay. So there's some fundamental things that you have to be willing to hear the truth. If, if the goal is genuinely to advance, yeah, you know, um, sure. rich, rich drinks, how many talks have we had? where it, it's sometimes it's brutal, but you know, there's less and less of that going on now because we, we've done, you know, he's done so much work along this path and we've spent, you know, so much time together um, honing and, and finding, you know, using his skill set, his, his mind, his, that, how do we, how do we mold that into where he is today? Right. And so the, the journey was not, you know, this smooth, Oh, it's just, you know, peaches and cream and it's gravy and it's wonderful. And like, it's like, no, if, if, if you're never experiencing, um, discomfort, there's no growth. Yeah. yeah. Growth, well, growth and comfort do not live in the same neighborhood. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well just, and I got to shut it down here. I've got a, I got yeah. a coaching call at eight 30. Um, <laughs> just to, just to kind of wrap things up guys, I think to follow up on Jeff's thing, look, um, you got to find the right person. Well, I mean, let me back up. You got to find, you got to find, well, let's put it together. You got to find the right person who's got the right information about, about, about this thing right here, about these five pillars and trying to nail each one of them and, and then probing to find out which one that you need to start with. Make sure that person's actually got some credibility in mm -hmm. terms of they've been to that spot that you want to go to and or they're there right now. Yeah. And and if you're if you're just talking theory and I've been, you know, I kind of railed on this a few days ago, theory versus reality. God dang it, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money. It just doesn't totally. it doesn't move the needle. And 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 then once you find that point, once you find that 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 resource, that voice that you trust has got the right information. Then you know all you have to trust and believe in is delayed gratification. <clears throat> if you stick with it, and believe me, sticking with it is really is is, that's, is the that's, tough part. Is really the tough. That's part. the discipline. That's, that's the discipline. The discipline. And if you get up. through those times when you go, I'm not <laughs> feeling today. This is too hard for me today. Um, you know, Jeff, I don't get it, but I'm too chicken to tell you I don't get it. Um, yeah, just keep going. Just keep going because I'm a firm believer that if you've got the right resource and the right information and you believe in delayed gratification, it's inevitable you will bridge that gap. Yeah. <sighs> so with all of that said, I hope you like today's message, guys. If so, click the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell uh, so you're alerted every time I go live and or update new, new stuff. Um, guys, that's it for me today. And again, just a quick reminder tonight, 11 o'clock PM Pacific time zone. Um, the price ends, goes way up into the stratosphere. Way up. Yes. On the underspin back in drive course. Uh, guys, hope this has been helpful today. Thanks for hanging out, Jeff. You too, as well. Always, you always good to have you on board. Um, guys, let's get out there. And well, before you get out there and help someone else have a great day, if you have any questions, any comments, any remarks down below in the comments area and or shoot me an email, Brent at webtennis.com. Jeff, as always, over at Jeff at Jacklitch365. 
Um, yep, get out there, help someone else have a great day, guys. See you again next time.